Good afternoon, Nicole. It's Kerry again here from Pacific Tour and Lexus Cairns. I know I actually sent you a VT on this morning regarding about the 2018 SR5. Um, I'm just going to do you one up on the 27, 2017, sorry, Toyota Hilux uh, SR 4x4 in manual now with the drop side tray. So I'm just going to go straight over here. As you can see, uh, Nicole, we've got two guys actually doing videos right now on vehicles that we are sending down south um, but let me tell you a little bit more about this 2017 Toyota Hilux 4x4 SR with the drop side tray so what I'm going to do is basically just go through the interior exterior of the motor vehicle also through the wheel arches tires and rims also through the features itself of the vehicle and then basically through um, the engine bay but I'll go for the engine bay first up and then we'll work on the left side and then we'll come down to the driver's side as well too. So, as you see, let's get straight into this video. I'll lift up the bonnet, just go through the engine bay for you right now. As you can see there, uh, Nicole, it's actually very clean and tidy. Like I said, it's been looked after really well. I'm um, just gonna go through the, um, the front bar now. Just before I go to the front bar, I just wanna make sure I point out if there's any bad perfections in the front bar. But as you can see, there is a couple little stone chips right now. There's two little marks there. Just a little scrub mark there, but uh, I can get some polish onto that and just some brush touch on this side. Uh, one just down here on the front bar and a couple over here uh, as well too. But I can get those fixed. It's only a little bit of uh, paint on, the, on that. So go up onto the front bonnet of the vehicle as well too. Just go across the top of the bonnet, just to make sure there's no chips or cracks in the windscreen as well too. Fantastic, Nicole. I'm just going to step back a little bit here, just look down the uh, passenger side now. As I'm going down the passenger side, I'm going to go through to the uh, start of the tray, and then I'll make my way down through the chassis as well too. So just going down here, down through the uh, sideboards, then actually back up through the wheel arch. Fantastic. Checking the uh, tyres on it. Just checking the rims, just make sure there's no gutter rash on the rims itself. Go through the uh, passenger side door now. As you can see, the SR has got the uh, chrome chrome handles on this model as well too, down onto the kick panel. Someone's put some rubbish there, sorry about that. Got your rubber floor mats as well. Back up through the dash. Before I go there, you've got your cup holders there as well. Across the top of the dash. Back through the driver's side here. In through the passenger seat as you can see it's got the log box and everything there but i'll go through them very shortly on through the uh passenger door make sure and go through the trim down onto the kick panel up onto the back of the seat and then back through to the uh middle row seats as well too so just before i go any further i'll just open up that center part you've got your cup holders there as well too so fantastic great to have them as well Okay, I'm um, just going to go through the wheel arch here, through the uh, back wheel arch, checking the, the uh, tyres as well. Got plenty of tread on those tyres there, as you can see. Looking underneath it, I'm just going to go right around underneath. Got the tow bar there as well. And then as you can see, it goes through the back of the tray. It's got your factory to add a tray with the ladder axe on the back of it. Uh, inside it's got those nice good high quality uh, rubber uh, mat inside of it fantastic I'll just step back and look down the driver side here now just give you a little bit more better view from the rear and then go through the chassis fantastic back through the uh, spare wheel just going through the tyres as well too underneath spare wheels actually on the other side there down onto the uh, side of the vehicle now just having a look on the side of the doors just checking the panel work fantastic Nicole that's actually in great condition okay step back a little bit here I'm just going to go through the uh, passenger side door. just checking the wheel arch here first on the front very clean and tidy Plenty of tread on those tyres, down onto the kickboard, and then back through the passenger uh, driver's side now. Just checking the trim, down on the kick panel, up onto the back of the seat, and then actually back through to the uh, back row seats. 
All right, fantastic. Okay, having a look in the uh, driver's side door. Before I start the vehicle up, I'm just gonna go across. You can hear that beeping noise. This will let you know that the key is actually in the ignition. So it's actually got two keys plus two extra spare keys. You've got your cup holder here as well too. Sorry about the glare there, uh, Nicole. Across the top of the dash, and then actually back through the passenger side seat, in through the center console, and then back, actually back over here on the driver's side. So I'll try and block out the, uh, the glare. It's really hard, especially in the afternoon here. I'm just gonna step inside, just point the camera out the, uh, the uh, abdomen, you know, like the cluster display. Bit of speedo and everything is. It's got 88,827 on the clock. Just before I go away from the steering wheel, I just want to go around the steering wheel itself just to make sure there's no blemishes actually on the steering wheel or no marking. Um, you've got your Bluetooth, your voice recognition, and your volume controls on the left side of the steering wheel and on the right side of your steering wheel. In there you can change that little display and just go through and check all your, um, you know, um, eco mode, settings, and then your odometer reading, and then your fuel economy sort of side, so how much fuel you're using. Over here, display unit, as you can see, your audio sound system there. Above that is actually a clock, and above there as well. Um, it has a clock, it's underbelief that is actually your air conditioning. USB point there, you've got your four wheel drive switch over button as well too, so you can go from high four to low four as well. And just in the middle of the uh, where the gear knob is is actually your eco mode button and then your power mode button as well too. In there is a center, and there's a cup holder as well too, and an extra little department handbrake in your center console. Fantastic. Okay, so the most important thing is you've got your owner's manuals and you've got your logbook service history here. So going through your logbook service history, as you can see, it's got, a little, it's got a full service history with it. Sorry about that, I'm trying to get a nice good thing. You've got your 11,000, and then after that, you've done your 26,000 Ks. Next one after that is done your, just hopefully I didn't miss anything. No, 42,000 Ks. Next one, 48,000 Ks. Sixty-nine thousand Ks. Another one at number sixty-nine for some reason, and then eighty-eight after that. And then they got that's one at eighty-eight. But that one there is actually done up top there. And then the combination for ninety thousand Ks as well. Fantastic. That was actually last two services done by us. But that's come to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, Nicole, if there's any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call. And um, hopefully we can make you a proud owner of this 2017 Toyota Highlight SR4.4 dual cap.